Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to the morning assembly today. Uh, it's a Monday, and we're going to go forward into this week with renewed strength and energy as God gives us uh, that grace. Let's go on with the um, exercises brought to us by Mr. Alan Vincent, and uh, then we'll move forward. morning children welcome back to Monday morning assembly and welcome back to get strong with Alan okay so today also we're gonna have a Zumba a strong Zumba session okay like every Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday when till Wednesday we're gonna have strong Zumba okay so I'm gonna play some music okay you're gonna work out with me follow me and follow the piece okay ready <laughs> Okay, children, hope you liked the exercise. Okay, so it was very simple today, very small one. Okay, so hope you follow it and do it slowly when I get time. Okay, so see you tomorrow. Have a nice day. God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Alan Vincent. Now we'll go on to the school song. Boys and girls, will you please stand and sing loudly as our choir leads us in the school song.
and that was beautifully done and I hope boys and girls you enjoyed singing that. This was the first time we sang the school song in the new academic year. Every Monday we're going to be doing that so please remember uh, to stand and sing the school song. Okay, this week we have a special speaker with us and that is uh, Douglas the Puppet and he's going to be teaching us about four in these four days, Monday to Thursday. He is going to be talking to us about four attitudes that you and I must have because of the grace of God. Remember last week we talked about how the grace of God is so important in our lives, what it does. And because you and I have the grace of God, boys and girls, we have the wonderful opportunity to uh, display these attitudes. Today we are going to talk about kindness. And then we are going to talk about obedience and gratitude and respect. Right? And so please listen to Douglas. Today we're going to be talking about the Golden Rule. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And uh, well, I, I wanted to talk to you guys about something and you know, I guess I do this a lot where I make a mistake and then I come to you guys and I explain to you, you know, kind of what I learned. But well, okay, I, I typically, I think of myself as a nice person. Okay, like I've got lots of friends and, and, and I, I share with my friends and stuff, you know, and, and I'm nice to them and stuff like that. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm a pretty good person, but um, well, I kind of got in a little bit of trouble and I realized maybe I need to rethink what it means to be a good person. So, well, actually, first let me talk to you about somebody who's not a good person. Okay, there's this kid at my school. His name is Asher and he is def he's definitely a bully. Okay, he is so mean, like he pushes people and he steals from people and he calls people names and he's just, he's just a mean, mean kid. But I found his kryptonite. I found his weakness because every day at lunch, he brings a Diet Coke with his lunch and he drinks from the Diet Coke. And I saw this video the other day on YouTube where if you take this thing called a Mentos, like it's like a, it's like a mint kind of thing and you put it into Diet coke something awesome happened so what i did is I, I got some mentos and i went over during lunch to where asher was sitting and i said hey asher look over there and he looked and when he looked i dropped the mentos in his in his coke and then when he looked back the coke exploded all up into his face and there was coke flying all over the place and he was it was all over him and and oh man it was so great it was so perfect if anybody deserved it it was Asher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a mean kid, and so I thought, yeah, this is totally, this is totally fair. He's a mean person, so I'm going to do something mean to him. Well, my uh, my principal did not really see it that way. So, uh, you know, I got called into the office, and I thought I was going to get yelled at for making a mess, but maybe he might even be like, "Hey, good job, Douglas. Asher is a punk. That was a good job. That was really funny." But no, he he sat down, and I sat down, and he just looked at me, and he's got this. He's got this big old mustache, and his mustache did not even move a little bit. It just sat there staring at me. And he said to me, he said, Douglas, that was unkind. And I thought, whoa, wait, no, no, I'm, I'm a nice person. I'm a kind person. Like, this this was justice. You know, this kindness has nothing to do with it. This was just, this was just me getting back at somebody who's a jerk to everybody. And he said to me, he said, Douglas, do you know the golden rule? And I was like, uh, the golden rule? Um... Is that the one where he who has all the gold makes the rules? And he said, nope, nope, it's not that, it's not that. He said, in the Bible, it says that we should do unto others as we would have them do unto us. And he said to me, he said, Douglas, would you like it if someone sprayed the Coke in your face and everyone in the lunchroom made fun of you? And I thought to myself, well, no, I guess not. You know, who who would want that? And he said to me, he said, and he's he's a Christian. He's a good Christian man, you know, and, and, and I, I really kind of look up to him. But he said, God doesn't just want us to show kindness to our friends. God wants us to be kind to everyone, especially those who are not kind to us. And so, yeah, you know, I got in trouble with the principal and, and, and I got a letter sent home to my parents and 
and I had to go apologize to Ashur and all that. But but beyond just you know the the typical punishments they gave me, I I felt really really bad inside. I did. I felt really bad because I knew that I was not living up to to what God had planned for me. I was not living up to the example that Jesus Jesus left for us. You know, Jesus was God. Jesus is God. And when Jesus was walking around here on earth, there were people who were really, really mean to him. But he still showed kindness to them. He died even for them. So I know for me that I, I want to live up to the golden rule. I want to show people the kindness that, that I would like to be shown. Even if they're really mean, even if they're not nice to me at all, I still want to show God's love, God's kindness to everyone. And that's my challenge to you guys is that you would follow the golden rule and that you would do to others as you would have them do to you. Thank you, Douglas, for bringing us that very, very valuable lesson on kindness. And boys and girls, today, would it be possible for you to show an act of kindness in class? Would it be possible for you to show an act of kindness, to be kind to your parents, to your sibling, even though they are younger than you, and even though you may feel they don't deserve it? Can you show an act of kindness to somebody that you don't know, somebody who's a stranger? and also somebody that you don't like. You know, and that is the example that God has set for us. And I want to remind you, boys and girls, that God's grace enables us to do that. Because God showed kindness to you. Even before you could love God, even before you could know anything about God, God's love was there for you. God showed kindness to you. And so you, God, God's grace enables you to show kindness to others. You know, that's not easy, certainly. It's much more easier to be rude and to just, you know, ignore that person or to talk bad about that person or to make fun of that person. But I want to encourage you this morning to be able to show that kindness. Work hard at it. And if you can't do it, if you find yourself finding it hard, then pray and ask God today, Please give me the grace to, to be kind. Right? Just as I want others to be kind to me, even when I mess up, even when I don't do everything that I want to do, help my teacher to be kind. And when I expect my teacher to be kind to me, then I should be kind to others, isn't it, boys and girls? And so please do that this, this morning and we will be praying for you. Shall we pray together? Our gracious God and loving Heavenly Father, Thank you for these wonderful truths that we have listened to this morning. How important it is, as you have taught us in the scripture, for us to do unto others as you have, as you as we want them to do to us. And I pray for every boy and girl today who is listening, that they may have the grace to be kind to one another. That's what we desire, Lord, today in our world, in our school, in our families, in our society that people will be kind to each other, that they will show these acts of mercy and that they will have a good word to say, that they will refuse to say bad words, refuse to be cruel towards one another. I pray that that would be true. I pray for every staff. I pray for the vaccination drive that's happening today in school, that you would bless that activity and enable us to um, help and bless many, many people. Pray for the safety of all our staff who are coming to school and the Fortis Hospital team and all the people who are coming, that you would bring them safely, take them home safely. We also pray that you would bless the activities of the school that are coming up and may your name be glorified. Bless those who are sick today, those who are in sorrow today, that we may experience the strength and comfort that comes only from you. We pray this in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me give you a few announcements, boys and girls, and then I'll invite you to go to your classes and um, I'll ask the uh, first period teachers to please enter the class after the morning assembly. This Friday, we have a special morning assembly, which is called Environment Day. You know that Environment Day is celebrated all over the world on June 5th, normally on a Friday, 
uh, normally last Friday, but uh, we are going to be celebrating it and remembering uh, the blessed environment that God has given us on the 11th of June, and that is coming Friday. We also have two other upcoming activities, boys and girls, through the month of June. The Interhouse English Public Speaking for classes 3 to 8 is going to happen this month. I want you to look at the academic calendar and prepare for it. I'm sure your English teachers have already informed you uh, of what you're supposed to do, poetry or uh, declamation or speeches, and I want you to prepare for that, and everyone should participate. Okay, as much as possible, we would like to see everybody participating. It's not about winning, but it's about participating and improving your ability to speak in public. And number two is the KG elocution that's going to come up at the end of the month. And that's also for the kindergarten children. And you also should take part in this activity. Please remember to join your classes on time every day. Remember that attendance is taken in every period. And, uh, you know, your chats and all that are being monitored. So please do be careful, boys and girls, what you put in the chat. Please don't disturb the teacher as they are teaching. Uh, other students should not be disturbed during the classes. Have a wonderful day today, boys and girls, and God bless you.